Now, Future News got an exclusive one-on-one -on -one with Kitaib MP Sam Ismail to discuss the events that made headlines in 2011. Yomna Naufal sat down with the young MP and sought out his views. Here's the interview. We are very happy tonight to be interviewing Deputy Sam Ismail. We wanted to speak about the highlights of Lebanon in 2011. What do you think were the biggest highlights? For me, on the personal level, I think it was uh, it was the the parliament, the speech in the parliament in for July. Me, in July, uh, I think that uh, it was uh, it was a good way to open uh, a very objective discussion with uh, with Hezbollah. They didn't took the chance. 2011 also in Lebanon saw several bombings in the south of UNIFIL's patrol, French troops, international troops that are here trying to help. Do you have any thoughts about what happened? We believe that uh, the presence of, uh, of UNIFIL in, uh, in the south uh, of Lebanon is a very, very, very important presence for, uh, for peace in Lebanon. And, uh, uh, if we remember what happened in Adaisi, uh, in the events of Adaisi, when uh, there was some clashes between the Lebanese army and the Israeli army, uh, the role of UNIFIL was very important to prevent uh, Lebanon and Israel to uh, to get back to war. Unfortunately, you have some groups in the in the in the government that don't believe in uh, in UN. It's Hezbollah. Hezbollah don't believe in UN. And it, uh, Hezbollah said that on several occasions. What do you think is a feasible solution for this problem? Why don't Hezbollah, first of all, put all his military decision in the hands of the government? Let's say I will never use my weapons and I, I will put all my military uh, equipment and all my military uh, I will say um, forces under the umbrella of the state. On a personal level, I know in 2011 you had some achievements of your own. What was the highlight? I believe that uh, abolishing the the honor crimes were. Uh, Why was is that the, important to you? It's important to me because it makes me uh, feel that we can do something in this country. You know, <laughs> we always feel that. Uh, we cannot change anything and this was a real personal initiative that we took. We managed to get all the votes we needed and we abolished a very important uh, law in the Lebanese body, in the Lebanese law body that was discriminating uh, women. It's that time of the year, you know what they call the Christmas time? They call it the most wonderful time of the year. Why was it the most wonderful time for you? My gift was uh, offered uh, two weeks ago to the Lebanese people. 276,000 uh, students in the, uh, in the public schools in Lebanon. It was a law that uh, uh, obliged the Ministry of Education to provide all the Lebanese students in the primary and in the secondary uh, uh, in the public schools to provide them with the textbooks for free in the beginning of each year. We all know uh, the, the inflation problems, we all know the economical problems the Lebanese people uh, is passing by today. So uh, it's, it's like a small, uh, it's a small gift to uh, to, to help the families uh, get uh, a proper education to their children.